Ladies and gentlemen, you're rocking with the best. What up, y'all? This your girl, Shay from Got The Scoop, and we're about to get into your girl, Nicki Minaj. Your girl, Nicki Minaj, had enough, and she is finally suing a YouTuber that was talking a whole bunch of shit about her for the past couple of years, but she had enough, and the YouTuber decided to say some things about her child, also alleging her doing drugs. We're also going to get into your girl, Cardi B. Your girl, Cardi B, was over there going back and forth with Tasha K, and not only that, she's over there being shady towards Nicki Minaj once again. Make sure you smash that like button make sure you turn on the notifications and if you ain't subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel so you can stay in the loop without the scoop and you'll miss none of our videos okay okay now let's go so if you haven't tuned in to Nicki Minaj queen radio Nicki Minaj twitter overall on her instagram Nicki Minaj has been very vocal about letting people know that listen I'm about to sue some bloggers or youtubers because like enough is enough a lot of people were defaming her name her character talking about her son and talking about her husband as well and the queen had enough first she said initially it was going to be three people then she let it be known that she was adding somebody on and it seemed like the person she added on was nosy ho nosy ho is a youtuber who have been recently in before has saying some ill things about Nicki minaj her husband and her son and it's like everybody can do their own commentary but it's like when she talks about Nicki minaj like it just comes from a place of pure hate in my opinion it seems so personal it's not even journalism it's just like I don't like this lady. I'm going to do whatever I, what I can to, you know, hurt her, try to hurt her, talk bad about her family. Well, Nicki Minaj had enough. Nicki Minaj is actually suing her because Nosy Hooks went up on her platform and alleged that Nicki Minaj was doing drugs. She also had some things to say about Nicki Minaj's son that I won't be repeating or reposting. The energy around that lady is, like, very, very, very dark when she talks about Nicki Minaj her son, her husband, like any topic is just real ill. And Nicki Minaj had enough and Nicki Minaj is pushing forward. And now everybody's over there scrambling. A lot of people is deleting things. A lot of people is closing up their pages, but it's like, it's too late. I know the barbs have been, you know, actually helping Nicki Minaj out because she told them anything you see, anything that we're not aware of and you want us to be aware of, go send it to judge. And that's her lawyer. So now it's game time. A lot of people is very shook. They don't know what to do because this is is different from other lawsuits now let's get into your girl cardi b with the slight shade towards Nicki minaj so after news broke that Nicki minaj was suing a youtuber for defamation and character your girl cardi b decided to go over there like a shady post that says now everybody want to start suing people now it was a problem when cardi was suing people and i want to touch on that I keep on seeing a lot of people over there talking about, oh, it was a problem when Cardi B did it. It was a problem when Cardi B did it. Um, did y'all forget Nicki Minaj was going to sue Daily Mail back in 2018? That was before Cardi B was going to sue Tasha K. So get your facts straight before you start to be shady over there, fucking liking shady comments. And it's just giving like, hmm. The difference when Cardi B did it is Cardi B was on social media for years, all those months, going back and forth with Tasha K being Billy badass, acting like nothing's phasing her, talking about the lady, posting pictures of the lady, have her fans doxing Tasha K, talking about Tasha K's family, her child, her husband, everything in the book, right? She was going back and forth, being combative with Tasha K, but then went to the court, went on that damn stand, started crying, started saying she was suicidal, she couldn't even sleep with her man, all this extra shit. When she was not acting like a person that was suffering from, you know, suicidal thoughts or mental issues, she wasn't acting like that person. She wasn't. She's being very, very combative. And before you guys come in the comment section or respond on Twitter, talk about, oh, suicide. I'm not talking about suicide who have a look or anything. I'm talking about the before and after actions. Before you actually got in the court, you was always responding, always saying something negative, being very combative. Before you got so big, you was on your IG live ranting and arguing with Tasha K. For somebody who felt so triggered by Tasha K and felt like they didn't want to be here anymore 
it just seems like you was giving out this negative energy that you could have made Tasha K feel like that. Because at the end of the day, Cardi B, you are a celebrity, you are a rapper. Tasha K is a YouTuber, an entrepreneur that has to work up and get her name up and do what she gotta do. Like at the end of the day, she's a YouTuber. She makes her money how she makes her money. Another thing that I found so weird about that whole lawsuit is that she was so busy going at Tasha K, but why she didn't subpoena and try to sue the girl who came to Tasha Tasha K with the story in the beginning, her old roommate. Why you didn't try to sue her? It's because she don't have a value. Tasha K is a YouTuber who have her own business, her own brand. So as she expands, and it's like, okay, let me go hear her what she got. And that shit is fucked up. Talking about Tasha K, Tasha K had a few words for Cardi B, and Cardi B decided to respond. Your girl Tasha K said, hold up. I spent over one million fighting crying to Car Cardi, aka X2 Year Superstar. Can't book shows because I don't got no tracks to perform. Still paying invoices. Ain't asked for no gun for me. I travel happily. Kids in private school, you damn right I ain't got it to pay her. Cardi B retweeted it and responded and said, Well, since you fighting a new child, let me know what you gonna do when it's sweet be presented and my lawyer bring up over the 30 offers I had of shows and festivals this year alone and this is why you owe me four million right now. P.S. I upset houses too. Cardi B reposted Tasha K's post and said, See how they love the remix shit? Did the mom say she wasn't black? She was Puerto Rican, money and tape. But when I'm Dominican, I'm not black, I'm Mexican. Um, girl, I don't know what she was trying to get at, but your girl Tasha K went on Instagram Live and she had a whole lot to say about Cardi B and she not letting up on her. She said, Fuck this lawsuit, girl. I'm gonna say what the fuck I gotta say. Point blank, period. And I'm, I'm tired. I am tired of this ex two year superstar. Two year superstar. One album, three singles, three features. Still bragging about that one album that you sold the publishing rights to because you needed the money. Who sells out that fast? You got one album. You're supposed to have multiple albums. Not the mixtapes, not the albums you used before you got on, okay? Albums. Albums. Albums so that you can do shows. But you can't do shows, one, because you was touring the country, getting plastic surgery done, and was canceling your shows here and there because you got your titties done, you got your stomach done, you're having babies. Congratulations, those are beautiful babies, okay? Unlike their mammy. However, you too busy fucking up everybody's money. Even fucking up your own money coming for me. Not even seeing longevity. All you ever see is right here. Right here. You can't see past this. That's why you only have one album. You're an ex two year superstar. You got your Grammys that you're not going to get anymore because you've allowed fear and perfection to get in the way of your talent. You've allowed Botox and fillers and lipo and ad shots, all this stuff to keep offset at home, you don't want to go to work so much because you watching what he's doing. See, the difference, I think people forget that me and her have babies. Congratulations, those are beautiful babies, okay? Unlike their mammy. However, you too busy fucking up everybody's money. Even fucking up your own money coming for me. Not even seeing longevity all you ever see is right here right here you can't see past this that's why you only have one album you're an ex two year superstar you got your grammys that you're not gonna get anymore because you've allowed fear and perfection to get in the way of your talent. You've allowed Botox and fillers and lipo and ad shots, all this stuff to keep offset at home. You don't want to go to work so much because you watching what he's doing. See, the difference, I think people forget that me and her have, you're going to show up for the tour, which means they're going to get their money. 
Are they going to get the money they invested in you? That's why you had to drop a record that was over two years old with a fake Kanye West in it. And Dirk is screaming about what happened in 2020 in the verse. You couldn't even hit him to say, yo, could you, could you fix this verse instead of saying 2020 and hot shit? Because it was perfectly hot shit. Nah, you threw him in the video because you're desperate. You're desperate for people to validate you. The difference between you and I, I don't need validation. I don't need the fillers. I don't need the ass. I don't need to emasculate a black man and follow him around to make sure he doesn't cheat on all of this surgery. So guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think your girl Nicki Minaj needs to hurry up and sue other bloggers as well? Are y'all over there helping her and letting her know who she should sue? Do you think that, you know, she should actually go forward with this girl Nosy Hawks? I definitely do think so. Because it's like, it's enough when it comes down to a child. Children is off limits no matter who it is. It could be your worst enemy. You don't talk about children. I don't like that shit. That shit is crazy. Also, when it comes down to Cardi B and Tasha K, how do you think this shit is going to end? Because Tasha K is letting you know, bitch, I ain't got it. He ain't getting that for a million. Feel like also Cardi B needs to stop always responding to people she got problems with, their fan bases, or anybody associated with them. Cause it's like giving like real, real, real weird. Even though Tasha K did say Cardi B's name, but Tasha K already made you say that you were suicidal, you felt some type of way, and all this stuff. Why you keep on fucking with a woman that made you want it in your life? Just leave the lady alone. Fuck what Tasha K say, cause she wanna say what she say regardless. You see this little suit ain't stopping nothing. So just go on about your business, collect your coin, leave it at that. Guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys for fucking with me, cause I fuck with y'all. And until next time, bye.